Stand by for mode one, Charlie. So guys, I've been trying to film this rooftop sequence for like three days and I just couldn't get it. The first day I came up here and the light was really nice but there were no clouds so every time lapse I shot just looked like a still photo. We're up on the roof, it's super, super cold. It's like May, I don't understand why this is happening. All right. And then yesterday I came up again, I came up in the morning and at night. It was super gloomy, it was super overcast. I just couldn't get any good colors to pop. The city just looked super gray, and so I'm glad I waited it out and got a proper New York sunset. Anyways, I found this really cool hack in Premiere Pro to match color grading to any reference image or movie or any color that you'd like. You can now emulate or at least get really close to that color, and it's super fast. It takes less than a minute to quickly drop a custom color grade basically onto any piece of footage in Premiere Pro. So we're gonna run back downstairs to the apartment and I'm gonna show you guys how it works. First and foremost thing I wanna say is that even though this little hack, this little trick, I'm gonna show you guys to quickly color grade your footage is super useful. I don't necessarily think this should be your end all be all, check it off that you know color grading now, but this is a really great starting point into developing certain looks. And this is the technique I use to color all that footage of New York City that I just finished shooting up on my rooftop. But before we jump straight into Premiere, there are some things we're gonna need, and that is our reference images. Now, you can pull images from anywhere you'd like on the internet to use them as references in your edit. For this example, I pulled a few images off of unsplash.com. Unsplash is a great resource for royalty-free stock images that you can use in your projects. And for me, there were three images that really stood out. I liked them as reference images. I liked the color tones that were baked into them. And so I wanted to use those as the launching pad for coloring this set of B-roll. So once you have your images downloaded, selected, you have all your footage imported and built into a sequence, we should land somewhere just like this. This is a super simple sequence. All the footage was shot on the roof handheld using the Canon EOS R. It was shot at 60 frames per second and then I slowed it down to 24 frames per second for this example. But this is it, there's no transitions, it's all direct cuts, nothing crazy. We just wanna focus on the color. And to get started, we need to go ahead and import all of those reference photos. So we'll go up here to our project bin. We're gonna do command I to import. I will go to the folder that houses these images. Now all we're gonna do is drop these somewhere in our sequence, it doesn't matter. We're gonna select it and we wanna scale it to the right size. And this is gonna be the first image that we try and duplicate the colors from. If we go down to the bottom of our program window, there's gonna be this icon for comparison view. If we select that, you're gonna see a change happen in your program window, and now you're gonna have the option to select a reference frame, and that's what we're going to do. So we have a miniature timeline over here below our reference frame. We're gonna skim through until we find this image that we've put at the end of our sequence right here. We wanna go up to our window and make sure that Lumetri Color is loaded up onto the screen. We have our reference image selected as well as the first piece of footage that we're gonna try and color. So in our Lumetri Color panel, all we have to do is go over to Color Wheels and Match and there's a button right here that says apply match. Now what this is gonna do is take a reading of the reference frame and try and mimic those colors onto our new clip. So if we just click apply match, you'll see almost immediately a new color grade is going to be applied to this clip at the beginning of our sequence. If we look over on our effects panel, we're gonna see there's now a Lumetri color effect applied. We can click back and forth and see the change that happened rather quickly. I'm gonna go back over to my comparison view. I'm gonna leave my reference photo as this kid in the, in the ghost costume, and I'm gonna see how this effect applies onto some other clips in the sequence. So as I let the playhead go across and grab a new clip, we press apply match. We now have this applied. We'll do it again on another one. 
And this looks pretty good. I mean, as being a one click, super fast press of a button. Now, if we do go back up into our basic corrections, we can shift the color temperature around. We could mess with our exposure, contrast. We can definitely refine this a little bit to make it more stylized to what our personal preferences is. But let's say we wanted to go back even further. So I'm gonna take these Lumetri color effects off of these first few clips. Now, all we have to do is go back over into our project bin grab a separate image and drag it directly on top of our other reference image. This way we don't have to change anything in our comparison view. I'm gonna scale this image down just a little bit so that we have a good reading of it all together. And back over on our Lumetri color panel, we'll go to color wheels and match, apply match, and there we go. We have another effect already baked in. We can see how this works on another set. That looks pretty cool. And so literally in just a matter of seconds, Oh man, the sun came out and it got super bright. Hang on, ISO down. And now literally just in a matter of seconds, in a matter of a few button clicks, we have a color grade applied to these clips that looks really good for something that was happening so fast. Like I said, this shouldn't be the end all way that you go about color grading your footage, but it's a really fast means to get you ahead. Now going through and applying these individual colors uh, to each clip can be very time consuming. And so often what I will do is just grab an adjustment layer. I'll throw it above all of the clips that were shot together because I know they're gonna have a fairly similar color tone. So we have the adjustment layer selected. Our reference frame is this Carl Lee image. We're gonna say apply match. And now we have an adjustment layer with the same Lumetri colors applied and it will go across all the clips underneath it. I'm personally really excited that I found this effect, not only to speed up my own personal workflows, but to allow me to experiment and learn new ways of color grading, learn new styles, match color grades, some of my favorite films, kind of reverse engineer and find my own unique style. And that's how all artists find their own style is to dissect and then rebuild on your own platform. If you think this tip is valuable and you think it's something you're gonna use, it would mean an absolute ton to me if you'd press that like button. And again, let me know what other types of things you guys want to be learning as while I'm stuck in quarantine, I'm in tutorial mode from here into the, the near future. So let me know, let me, let me, let me know what you guys want to learn and I'll catch you in the next one.